Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful summer baby dress for little girls between three and six months old. It's super easy to make with a beautiful stitch pattern, so I hope you like it. Now, the little dress that we're going to make in this tutorial, like I said, it's for baby girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 12 months. Down here in the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, stay tuned. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to make the matching diaper cover, and make sure to comment below and let me know if you want me to make the matching bonnet or baby booties. I'll gladly go ahead and do that. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, to make this little dress, this is the yarn that I used. This is DK Weight yarn. I used pink and white. You can also use number three yarn or eight ply. Now, in total, you're going to need about 120 grams, 40 grams in white, and about 80 grams in pink. You will need less or more depending on the size that you're making. Now, let's get started, but first, don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching. To begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use number three or eight ply. At the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using, and I told you how much yarn we're going to need for the size that we're making. So here, to begin, I have 53 chains. Now, this chain without stretching, it's measuring about 11 inches, which is about 28 centimeters. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay. Continue with the first row. In this first row, what we're going to do is into the second chain from the hook, one, two, into this second chain here, I'm going to make a single crochet. A single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next, and so on. For this first row, this is all we're going to do. One single crochet on each chain, so that at the end of this first row, we have 52 single crochets. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I finished this first row. In this row, we did single crochets. I have 52 single crochets at the end of this first row. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now these two chains do not count. Beginning into the first single crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now into the next two, same thing, one double crochet. Now into the next single crochet, which is the fourth stitch counting from the beginning, one, two, three, four, I'm going to make a double crochet increase. So make two double crochets into this same single crochet. And this is how you're going to continue to the end of the row. You're going to make three double crochets Three and into the next a double crochet increase. Now continue like this to the end of this second row. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to finish this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now at the end of this row, I finished by making four double crochets. Here's the last increase and then I just did four double crochets here at the end. At the end of this second row, you should have a total of 64 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Remember the two chains do not count. Now in this row, I'm going to make four double crochets then into the next, my double crochet increase. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet, that's one, into the next, that's two, three, four double crochets. Now into the next double crochet, make a double crochet increase. So make two double crochets. And then again, you're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to make four double crochets. And into the next, a double crochet increase. Continue like this to the end of this third row. And remember, all you're doing is making four double crochets and into the next two, four, two, all the way to the end. I will meet you at the end of this third row to show you how we're going to finish this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have four double crochets left. On top of these four, I'm just going to make one double crochet. And 
And here's the third row. At the end of this row, you should have a total of 76 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do are five double crochets, then into the next, our double crochet increase. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Into the next, a double crochet. That's two, three, four, five double crochets. Now into the next, make your double crochet increase. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. You're going to make five double crochets, then two, five, two, all the way to the end. I will meet you at the end of this fourth row to show you how we're going to finish this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Now I have four double crochets left. Here I'm just going to make one double crochet into each one of these last four. There. At the end of this fourth row, you should have a total of 88 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now for this fifth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the second row. We're going to make three double crochets, then into the next stitch, a double crochet increase. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first stitch, make your first double crochet. Into the next, a double crochet. That's three, and into the next, your double crochet increase. Again, make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next, a double crochet increase. Now continue like this to the end of this fifth row. I will meet you eight stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now here I have my last increase. I have eight double crochets left. Now here I'm not going to make any more increases. I'm just going to make one double crochet into each one of these last eight double crochets. There. At the end of this fifth row, you should have a total of 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now the three chains here counts as one double crochet. In this row, we're going to make V-stitches. To begin, I'm going to skip one double crochet and into the next, uh, which is the third counting from the beginning. One, two, three. Into this double crochet here, make the first V-stitch. So make a double crochet two chains, double crochet. So each one of the V-stitches is going to consist of a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Now skip two double crochets and into the third, make one more V-stitch. Skip two and into the next, another V-stitch. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this sixth row. Continue like this, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. In this row, we have done V-stitches. I have a total of 35 V-stitches. Now here at the end, I have three double crochets left. Into the last double crochet, make a double crochet. Now I've cut my yarn, so I'm going to pass my yarn through this last loop. For the next row, I'm going to change yarn color. I'm going to use this white yarn here. So to begin the seventh row, I'm going to turn right on top of the first double crochet here, insert your hook, grab a loop here, bring it through, chain one, and right into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now, if you don't want to change yarn color, then just go ahead and chain one, turn, and right into this first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now, this is how we're going to work each one of the V-stitches. Beginning with this first one, we're going to start with a front post double crochet into the chain two space. You make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then into the second double crochet of this first V-stitch, make a front post double crochet. 
Again, we have the second V stitch into the first double crochet, make a front post double crochet into the chain two space, make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then a front post double crochet into the second double crochet of this same V stitch. And this is how you're going to work each one of the V stitches. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this seventh row. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. This is where we did these fans. I have a total of 35 fans. Now to finish here at the end into the second chain, make a single crochet. Now for row eight, we're going to chain one, turn. Now beginning on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet. Now we have the first fan. We have a back post double crochet, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then a back post double crochet. This is how we're going to work each fan. We have the two back post double crochets. We're going to maintain these the same and work a back post double crochet. So this first one here, make a back post double crochet skip one double crochet and into the next make a back post double crochet now into the chain space make two double crochets two chains two double crochets here we're going to be making these fans into the chain space which consists of two double crochets two chains two double crochets now we have the next double crochet make a back post double crochet skip the next double crochet and into the next double crochet which is a back post double crochet make a back post double crochet again we have the second fan we have a back post double crochet two doubles chain one two doubles and then a back post double crochet make a back post double crochet into the back post double crochet skip one double crochet and into the next make a back post double crochet in the chain space make a fan into the next double crochet make a back post double crochet skip the next double crochet and then we have the back post double crochet make a back post double crochet and this is how we're going to work each one of the fans and this is going to create this 3d effect right here so let me show you again we have the third fan again we have a back post two doubles chain space two doubles a back post make a back post double crochet skip the next double crochet and in the next make a back post double crochet in the chain space make a fan a back post double crochet in the next double skip the next double and in the next make a back post double crochet and that's all we're going to do so basically the double crochets the back post double crochets these remain the same and in the two double crochets that are before the chain spaces and after you make back post double crochets and inside the chain space you make a fan and this is how it looks it creates that nice 3d effect here which is what we want so continue like this for this eighth row i will meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this eighth row here at the end i finished by making a single crochet on top of the last single crochet then i cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and this row is done now at the end of this eighth row you should have a total of 35 of these fans now this is the side where we finish so from here on this is going to be the back side this here is going to be the right side or the front of the little dress so we're going to turn this like this the yoke is done and this is how it looks now so far it's measuring from here up to the end here of the fan it's measuring about 9.5 centimeters which is about 3.75 inches now we're going to divide the sleeves here in the next row so I need you to place some stitch markers. Each one of the front panels is going to have four 
fans or four V stitches. I decided to count the V stitches instead because in the next row, we're going to go back to the sixth row. That's where we did the V stitches. So I have one, two, three, four V stitches for this front panel. Then I place a stitch marker between the fourth and the fifth. Now for the sleeve, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine V stitches. For the back side, I have nine V stitches as well. For the second sleeve, I also have nine V stitches. And for this second front panel, I have four V stitches. So we're going to go back to this side this is where i finished this is the right side we're going to fold this last row like this and we're going to go back into the row of v stitches starting on top of the first double crochet right here grab a loop here bring it through i'm using the pink yarn here to continue now chain three one two three now these three chains counts as one double crochet. Now we're going to find the first V-stitch and here's the first V-stitch. So we're going to fold this fan like this and we're going to go right into the V-stitch, the chain two space of the V-stitch. So we're going to have two double crochets on either side because this is where we did the seventh row of fans. So right into that space, make your pattern stitch which is going to consist of three double crochets chain two one double crochet I'm going to use the I think this is called a side saddle stitch or side saddle fan stitch I'm going to call them fans so here's the first stitch now we're going to go into the next V stitch right into the chain space of that second V stitch repeat the same thing make three double crochets three chain two double crochet now go into the third V stitch and make another fan We have the next v-stitch the fourth v-stitch so here make another fan there we have four fans one two three four and these fans were made right into the same row of v-stitches which is the sixth row so right into the chain space of the v-stitch and that's how it looks now to separate the first sleeve, we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now to separate the sleeve, skip nine V stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into the chain space of the next V stitch right here, which is the first one for the back side out of the nine, right here, make a fan. Now you're going to continue along the back side and make one fan into each one of the remaining V stitches. So you're going to make one here, 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 up to the stitch marker. Here you're going to have a total of nine of these fans for the back side. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to separate the second sleeve. I finished making these nine fans for the back side, and again, these fans were made into the V stitch row right in the middle of the chain space of each v-stitch now to separate the second sleeve we're going to chain seven that's three four five six seven now skip nine v-stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine and into the next one after the stitch marker right in the middle in the chain space make a fan Now continue and finish this 
second front panel. I will meet you at the end of this first row. I finished making these four fans here for the second front panel. Now to finish this row, this is what we're going to do. We're going to join here to the beginning and to do this, I also need to add an extra fan because as it is right now, I have eight for the back side and nine for the front side. So I need to add one more fan here so that we have nine and nine for both um, the front and the back panels. So here to do this, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go right on top of the last stitch here these are actually the three chains so this is the beginning of this sixth row where we did the v stitches so right into the same stitch that i did this stitch here for the fan i'm going to insert my hook there and i'm going to go into this end this is the beginning of the row and into the same stitch that i inserted my hook to make the three chains here at the beginning of this first row insert your hook through there grab a loop here and make a double crochet. So now we are joined. Now into this same stitch here. Now don't worry about going through this side, only through this end here. Make two more double crochets. Now chain two, and the three chains that we did here at the beginning counts as the last double crochet of the pattern. See, that one. So now all you need to do is just go into the chain three space and join with a slip stitch. And here is the last fan. So now at the end of this row, you should have a total of 18 fans. Nine for the back, nine for the front, so that's 18. And under each sleeve, you should have seven chains. Now for the second row, we're going to turn. Make sure that you turn this way. That way, the yarn is behind the hook. Now into this chain two space of this first fan, make a slip stitch. Now chain three, and right into the same space here, make two more double crochets. Counting the three chains, I have three double crochets. Now chain two, and into the same space here, make a double crochet. So here's the first fan for the second row. Now into each one of these remaining four, into the chain two space, I'm going to make my fans. There, I have five fans here. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have the next seven chains. I'm going to skip the first chain and into the second chain, I'm going to make a fan. Now skip the third chain and into the fourth, make a fan. Skip the fifth chain and into the sixth chain, make a fan. Now under the sleeve here, we have added three extra fans. One, two, three. Now skip the seventh chain and into the first chain two space of this next fan. For the back side, make a fan. There, now continue along and make one fan into each one of these remaining fans until you come here to the last one. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to work these chains under the second sleeve. Okay, I finished making these nine fans here for the back side or the front side from here on. Not counting the three that we added under the first sleeve, we have two, four, six, eight, nine. Now, in the next seven chains this is what I did I did exactly the same thing I skipped the first chain and into the second I did a fan 
Then I, I skip the third chain and into the fourth I did a fan. I skip the fifth chain and into the sixth I did a fan. Now I'm going to skip the seventh chain and into this first fan here for the second front panel I'm going to make a fan. There, now continue along and finish these last three fans. I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now, at the end of this row, I have a total of 24 fans. We started with 18. In this row, we added three fans under each sleeve. So that's a total of 24 fans at the end of this second row. Now, to finish this row, we're going to go here to the beginning where we have the three chains and right into the third chain, insert your hook and make a slip stitch. And here is the second row with 24 fans. Now, for row three, you're going to turn like this, beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a slip stitch. And into the chain two, make a slip stitch. Once here, you chain three, make two double crochets, two chains, double crochet. And then into each one of the chain two space of each fan, you're going to make a fan. In this row, we're just going to do this. We're not going to increase. You're just going to make a fan into each one of the fans, into the chain two space. At the end of this third row, I'm also going to have 24 fans. So continue like this, finish this third row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 24 fans. Now to finish the row, go into the third chain here at the beginning and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, turn. Now in this row, we're going to make two increases. I'm going to make an extra fan under this sleeve and an extra fan under the second sleeve. So what I did is 24 divided by two, that's 12. So I have 12 fans here for the back, 12 fans here for the front. So right in the middle of the fans here, we're going to make an increase. So here I'm going to go on top of the first double crochet, make a slip stitch, into the chain two, make a slip stitch. Now chain three, make two double crochets, two chains, double crochet. Here's the first fan for this fourth row. Now I'm going to continue along and make a fan into the next, let's see, one, two, three, four, five fans. So in total, I'm going to make six, including this first one. I will meet you right here to show you how I'm going to make this increase right between the sixth and the seventh fan here under this first sleeve. I finished making these six fans here for this fourth row. Now I have my stitch marker, so between the sixth and the seventh fan here, right in the center, I'm going to make an increase. So I'm going to make an extra fan. So just make a fan here. There, now I have seven for this side and now I'm just going to continue along and work one fan on each one of these 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I will meet you right here. This is where I'm going to make another increase right under the sleeve. I finished making these 12 fans. Here's the increase. So after the increase, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fans. Now between the next two fans, right here where I have the stitch marker, I'm going to make a fan. Now continue along and finish the next six fans. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will meet you at the end. I finished making these last six fans, two, four, six. Now I'm here at the end of the fourth row to finish. Go here to the beginning into the third chain, join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this fourth row with a total of 26 fans. Now for the fifth row, turn, beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a slip stitch. And into the chain two, make a slip stitch. Once here, you chain three, make two double crochets, two chains, 
one double crochet and then you're going to make a fan into each one of the chain two of each one of the fans at the end of this fifth row you're going to end with 26 fans now continue like this finish this row i will meet you here at the end to show you once again how to finish each row and how to start each row since from here on the fifth row is the row that we're going to repeat so i will meet you at the end of the fifth row i'm here at the end of this fifth row i have 26 fans from here on we're always going to have 26 fans and we're always going to repeat this same row now to finish each row you're just going to go here to the beginning into the third chain insert your hook and make a slip stitch now to begin each row you're going to turn and beginning on top of the first double crochet make a slip stitch make a slip stitch into the chain two now chain three and make two double crochets two chains one double crochet here's the first fan for this sixth row and into each one of the fans you make a fan this is how we're going to continue for the rest of the skirt here i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so continue i'll meet you at the end of that row i finished making the skirt of the dress i have done a total of 18 rows from here where we divided the sleeves up to this last row that i just finished i did a total of 18 rows and it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of the last row it's measuring about 13 inches which is about 33 centimeters if you would like to make it longer you can what i'm going to do here is i'm going to wear a couple more rows but i'm going to make single crochets instead so to do this here this is what we're going to do so i finished here on the wrong side now for row 19 this is what we're going to do we're going to turn and beginning on top of this first double crochet make a single crochet now in the chain two space make two single crochets and then one single crochet in the next three double crochets so each fan is going to have six single crochets again we have the next one make a single crochet on top of the first one then two into the chain two space and then three now continue like this all around just making single crochets i will meet you here at the end of this 19th row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this 19th row. This is where I did single crochets all around. To finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this 19th row. You should have a total of 156 single crochets. Now, if you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. Just continue. Now, for the 20th row, chain one and right into this first stitch, which is the same one that we joined to, make a single crochet single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next and so on here we're just going to work single crochets all around at the end of this 20th row we're going to be left with 156 single crochets as well so continue finish this row i'll meet you at the end I finished making the 20th row in this row I did single crochets all around and I had 156 single crochets as well for that 20th row now here at the end I just joined to the beginning cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop I'm only going to do these two rows of single crochet but if you want to make this here wider you can I'm just going to make these two rows now for row 21 I'm going to change yarn color now this last row that I'm going to do this is more of a decorative row and it's optional so this is how i'm going to do it so this is where i finish so i'm going to insert my hook into that same stitch where i joined to the beginning right there now grab a loop here bring it through chain one now into the next stitch make a slip stitch chain one slip stitch into the next stitch chain one slip stitch into the next stitch chain one slip stitch and this is how we're going to work this last row just make a slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one into each single crochet so continue like this for row 21 i'll meet you at the end 
I finished making this last row here at the end. I just did my last lip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done, and this is how it looks. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go here to the back side. So we're going to make single crochets here along the sides and then around the neckline we're going to do the same thing I did here. So to begin, we're going to go right in the middle, insert your hook right there, right in the middle, grab a loop. I'm going to be using this white yarn here. There. Now chain one and right into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now we're going to go here along this side and into each one of the double crochets here at the end we're going to make two single crochets. So beginning here I have two into the next row make two. The next row is the single crochet row so let me count these stitches. I have Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I have eleven single crochets. Now I'm going to add a buttonhole here. So I'm going to chain one, skip the row of single crochets, and go right on top of the chains here and make a single crochet. Now I only chained one because I'm planning to use small buttons. Continue watching, I will let you know what size buttons I'm going to use. But if you want to use bigger buttons, you can chain more and just skip the same single crochet row and go into the row of chains and do the same thing. That would be up to you. Now to work the neckline, we're going to do it exactly how we did here. I'm going to chain one and into the next chain stitch here, make a slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch into the next, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, and so on. This is how we're going to work the neckline here all around. It's the same thing we did for the bottom. Continue. I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at this other end of the neckline. I finished making these slip stitches with chains all around. Now here at the end I have my last chain and right into the last stitch here make a single crochet. Now we're going to work our way down here and so here into the next row of single crochets make one and then into the rows of double crochets make two single crochets into each double crochet or chain two space here. Here's the last row, make two single crochets. Now to finish, go here to the beginning where we have the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. Let's see how it looks. Yes, I think that looks pretty good. It looks the same. Here we added one buttonhole so make sure that you put your button here on this side i'm going to go ahead and do that and then hide my ends and then i'll come back and show you the finished little dress i finished hiding all my ends i also went ahead and attached my button now this button here is a nine millimeter size i think that with one chain you can use eight nine or even ten if you chain two you can use 11 12 or even 13 millimeter size buttons so the little dress is all done this is how it looks this is the front now here i just did a simple little bow and right in the middle i attached these little flowers these are pre-made flowers that i just attached them here to the center um, i just sewed them in and this is how it looks so the little dress is all done here's the bottom and here's this beautiful yoke and the back side this is how it looks and the bottom of the back side. So now let me give you the finished measurement. The total length from the top of the shoulder to the end here, it's measuring about 34 centimeters, which is about 13.5 inches. 
Now this measurement right across from here to here, right across, it's measuring about 11 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 22 centimeters, which is about 8.75 inches. So based on these measurements, this little dress is for baby girls between three and six months old. Now you can easily make it smaller or bigger in the information box below. I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger. Now, many of you ask, how do you open the information box? Simply just tap the title of the video and you'll see the information box open. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Now, comment below and let me know how you like this little dress. If you want me to make a matching diaper cover with this beautiful stitch pattern, or maybe some booties to match or a little bonnet, uh, make sure to comment and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.